It is subject to error. Science makes mistakes, just like people. And it is influenced by facts, not by emotions. And of course, science relies on competence. There's another factor. Now we are in the era of speed. Everything moves fast. Everything is digitalized. Everything travels around the world in no time. Real news, fake news, fake real news. Look at the comparison. This is the same event seven years after the election of Pope Benedict XVI in 2005 and the election of Pope, Pope Francis. How fast do you think those pictures were flying around the world? Just seven years later. Next. Okay, what's my story about? It's about anti-vaccine sentiment. Vaccination has been one of the most important conquests of society. We are all alive because our parents are vaccinating us and because their parents are vaccinating our parents. This is how we save lives in the world. Another thing, thank you! Exposed to is that our personal 
and institutional credibility is shaken. And shaking the credibility of an institution is very, very dangerous. Every component of society has to do something about this. This is not a problem of scientists. This is a problem of society. And so here's a summary of my perspective. What? As Enrico Giovannini said, this is about you. You have to be aware that there is a flat earth society. You have to be aware that there are um, groups that lie about science. And you have to defend science. Where's my perspective to? Where's the person? What does Ilaria want to say to you? Ilaria wants to say to you that I have been a fake news victim. I have experienced the violence, the slander, and the despair of reputational loss. I am concerned that other scientists can be attacked and be publicly shamed from a personal perspective with institutional ramifications and loss of credibility. I am here. Open your ears, all of you. I am here telling this story because I am I advocate for scientific integrity of documents that accuse people. It is unacceptable that because something is scientific, it is not understood, and scientists can be crucified because somebody who was listening to their phone didn't understand that. And that's why I'm here. And you know why I'm here? No, 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 no. Because this is about you. This is about you. What happened to me could happen to anyone in here. And so, you don't have to be afraid of telling stories that hurt. You have to learn from them, you have to use them, and you have to turn them into something positive. And so you also have to, to have the strength of putting yourself together and looking at the future. And the future that I am working on is a future which is very much in line with so many things we heard today. Um, first of all, this is the Sustainable Development Goals, um, which are the only way forward as far as I see it. And before I say bye-bye to you, let me leave you with one minute about science. Because if you whether you want to be a scientist or you don't want or you don't want to be a scientist, science will be part of your life, is part of your life. And you have to learn to defend it and to respect it.